I love them. I love them. Welcome back to the Longevity D Process channel. Now, I love strawberries, especially during the summer when they are in season. And if you want to get the best strawberries, go for uh, go to a farmer's market and uh, find out which ones are grown locally. Uh, and they're the ones that are actually going to taste the sweetest and be the freshest. In this video, we'll learn from Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and researcher who has dedicated his career to understanding the powerful role of nutrition in promoting health and longevity. Dr. Lee is a leading expert in the field of angiogenesis, the process of blood vessel formation, which is crucial for stem cell function. With his extensive knowledge and research, Dr. Lee will provide valuable insights into how strawberries can support our stem cells and overall well-being. Four strawberries. Let's listen to the doctor tell us about one of the compounds of strawberries and their benefits. Well, strawberries has something called elagic acid. Mm -hmm. In fact, elagic acid is what's make a nice strawberry tart. So strawberries are sweet, they're a little tart, um, uh, and the tartness comes from elagic acid. Well, elagic acid is made by strawberries. It cuts off the blood supply to tumors. It's actually good for your metabolism, burns down harmful body fat, um, is antioxidant, protects your DNA, lowers inflammation, as well as vitamin C in the same strawberry, um, and activates your stem cells. So what's not, like, what's not to like about strawberries? You'd want as much elagic acid as possible. Elagic acid is a polyphenol compound that can and has been linked to various health benefits, including elagic acid is a polyphenol compound found in various plant-based foods, including strawberries, raspberries, and pomegranates. It can help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. It is known for its antioxidant properties, which help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. This can contribute to preventing chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and premature aging. Additionally, elagic acid has been linked to anti-inflammatory effects, which can help reduce inflammation associated with various health conditions. Some studies even suggest that elagic acid may have anti-cancer properties, although more research is needed to confirm these potential benefits. Strawberry, strawberry, please. Two big strawberries, please. Dr. William Lee emphasizes the significance of anthocyanins, a type of flavonoid that gives strawberries their vibrant red color for their potential benefits to stem cells. These compounds have been linked to various health advantages, including antioxidant properties that protect cells from free radical damage, anti-inflammatory effects that may reduce chronic disease risk, and potential cognitive benefits such as improved memory and cognitive function. Oh. A quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. It's got strawberries in it. You love strawberries. Taste it. Strawberries offer a range of nutritional benefits that can support heart and digestive health. They are a good source of fiber, potassium, and vitamin C fiber aids in digestion, preventing constipation, while potassium is essential for maintaining healthy blood pressure. Vitamin C acts as an antioxidant, protecting cells from damage, and supporting overall heart health. They had strawberry and strawberry. Well, I hate strawberries, so give me the strawberry. <laughs> The doctor will now explain why organic strawberries are a good way to go. How important is organic? First of all, let me just be really clear. I had had for years been a skeptic of organic foods. Okay, I'm not anymore. But the reason I was a skeptic is because I, I kind of felt like it rubbed me the wrong way. Why should I pay more money to buy a food that's grown without chemicals uh, in a more natural form uh, so that I could actually have the privilege of avoiding pesticides. Like it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way that, that it would be marketed something that was more natural and had less chemicals. I had to pay more money to actually get the more natural stuff, right? Well, there's another reason that research now has shown very definitively the advantage of organic foods. And I want everyone to really hear this because it's important. This is, this is science not marketing, all right? Turns out that uh, a study was done and published in the journal Nature by a group, an agricultural group, horticultural group in England, and they were looking at strawberries. Now, strawberries, as we all know, have a very thin skin. 
you can't skip, you can't peel a strawberry very easily. And so a strawberry that's grown conventionally with pesticides, those pesticides are going to be stuck on that skin. And because the thin is skin, it, it, the thin, the skin is very thin, the pesticides will tend to penetrate inside that flesh, right? Nobody wants to eat a pesticide, a chemical laden strawberry, right? Okay. What the, what the researchers did is they wanted to compare not the level of pesticides between conventional versus organic strawberries. They wanted to look at something that I care about, which is the bioactives, the good stuff in strawberries. What is the, among many good stuff in strawberries? There's something called elagic acid. Elagic acid is what makes a strawberry tart, like strawberries are sweet and a little tart. Elagic acid and acid makes it a little tart. And it turns out elagic acid is so powerful. It actually can cut off the blood supply to cancers. You can eat strawberries to actually starve cancers. It also is really a powerful antioxidant. It stimulates your stem cells to repair your organs. Also feeds your gut microbiome. And it also is helpful for lowering inflammation as well, right? This is a really, really awesome natural chemical in Mother Nature's farm a C. Not with a P, not with a pH, but with an F. It's found in a strawberry. Now here's what the surprise is. When you compare the conventionally grown strawberry, treated with pesticides, looks pretty because bugs aren't eating it. Okay, there's no bugs or, or uh, insects uh, sw uh, swarming around a pesticide treated strawberry. And you compare it to an organic strawberry, okay, where bugs are have actually been nibbling at it. If you compare the elagic acid, there's a lot more, three times more elagic acid in the organic grown strawberry. There's three times more the good stuff compared to the organic. Now, why is that? This is what's really amazing. Turns out that elagic acid, like many of these bioactives, are Mother Nature's um, natural insecticides and pesticides. And so what happens is that in a organically grown plant, you actually have these little bugs that are nibbling on the leaves and the stems of the strawberry, chewing at it, and this whole strawberry plant reacts to that nibbling by creating more of a natural pesticide, natural insecticide called elagic acid. Loads up the fruit with it to protect the fruit because that's actually what's going to be responsible for the reproductive health so the strawberry plant can live to grow another day, right? Um, and so organic has more of the natural bioactive, whereas the pesticide treated or conventionally grown, it keeps away the bugs. Bugs aren't nibbling. Plant looks a little better, all right, but actually it doesn't need to produce as much of the electric acid. Yeah, I like strawberries, but I don't... I'm getting you strawberries. Dr. Lee will now give us another tip about strawberries. By the way, for berries, here's something practical. Look, I'm a big believer in going to the farmer's market and buying the seasonal fresh berries, but here's the thing. You can actually get frozen berries, which are less expensive, and you can buy them in bulk and store them in your freezer, and easier to deal with, okay, and they have the same bioactive value. They're picked from the field, flash frozen, and you're good. Strawberries? Here are five delicious and nutritious recipes featuring strawberries and stem cell focused foods that you can easily incorporate into your diet. Start your day with a refreshing strawberry smoothie by blending a cup of strawberries, a handful of spinach, a tablespoon of chia, a tablespoon of chia almond milk. This smoothie is packed with antioxidants from the strawberries and essential nutrients from spinach and chia seeds, all contributing to overall health and supporting stem cell function. I needed the strawberry! For a hearty breakfast, try strawberry oatmeal. Cook your oatmeal and add a handful of strawberries, a sprinkle of cinnamon, and a drizzle of honey. This combination of fiber, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatory properties can help support stem cell health and keep you feeling full and energized. Yummy, yummy! <laughs> a strawberry and yogurt parfait makes for a nutritious and satisfying breakfast or snack. Layer Greek yogurt, fresh strawberries, and granola in a glass. The protein in yogurt combined with the antioxidants in strawberries and the fiber from granola creates a balanced and delicious meal that promotes overall well-being. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> For a light and refreshing meal, enjoy a strawberry and spinach salad. Toss fresh strawberries, spinach, and a handful of walnuts in a light dressing made from strawberry vinegar and honey. 
the powerful antioxidants in strawberries, along with the nutrients from spinach and walnuts, make this salad a health-boosting option. Yummy! Lastly, stay hydrated with strawberry and lemon water. Simply infuse water with fresh strawberries and lemon slices for a refreshing antioxidant-rich beverage. This simple drink not only tastes great, but also helps provide your body with essential nutrients that support overall health and vitality. Yummy. Each of these recipes is designed to be both delicious and beneficial, helping you enjoy the natural benefits of strawberries while supporting your body's stem cell health. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the Nutritarian Diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.